You know, at the risk of coming off as unprofessional, I would um, just like to say that if you actually start talking to me at some point, you're going to get a lot more out of this than just losing a $20 copay. Okay, John? <laughs> uh, okay, look. I, I want to ask you something, and this might hurt a little bit, but... You know what we need to talk about. Look, Jen, I'm, I'm here for you. The same way that your sister's here for you. I mean, it's awfully nice of her to drive you all this way to these sessions, isn't it? Look, people care about you, Jen. They care about what you're going through, and they care about what you do with yourself, okay? You know, my father was in the service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Coast Guard. He, uh... You know, he really didn't like talking about it. Oh, I mean, he would... He'd talk to other people about it. He'd talk to complete strangers about it. He wouldn't talk to us about it, though. Couldn't talk to his family. I don't know what it was. But he would go out in public all the time the hat, Coast Guard, big emblem, he was so proud, so proud, and he would just be begging people to walk by, not verbally, but he'd be looking at the other guys, just hoping someone would ask him about it, about what it was like, what he went through, hoping that they could identify it, that's how I learned about him be at a restaurant or walking in the park or whatever and someone else would come up and ask him about it he'd tell him and that's how I got the stories he wouldn't tell us though he couldn't he couldn't talk about it that's why I'm here John that's why I do what I do he was in uh, the Dominican when Hurricane David hit in 79. It was too much for him. I couldn't help him. But I can help you, John. All you gotta do is talk to me. John, I wanna ask you about why you were discharged, okay? Okay. 